Did you ever wonder what happened to director Galloway after the events of Revenge of the Fallen? Well, his fate is revealed in IDW's Rise and Storm. After Megatron frees Shockwave from captivity in Siberia, he orders Shockwave to whip the Decepticon army back into shape and deal some damage to the Autobots and Nest. Shockwave does so by attacking the Nest base and killing many Autobots and Nest soldiers. Shockwave then demands to know who's in charge. Galloway then proceeds to tell Shockwave that he is the one who's in charge, and he orders Shockwave to stand down, but this doesn't phase Shockwave and he kills Galloway. And that is the reason why he wasn't in Dark the Moon.